All right, so now we're going to do measures 21 through 24. 21 through, we'll, we'll play a little bit of measure 25. We're going to use just this, C major 7. So again, it goes back to that A major 7 form. Uses the bar chord to the C sharp diminished. Right to the D minor nine. Now, this is a great one. You're going to use this. Well, actually, we've used it a good bit in, in, or, in other keys, especially. All right, very jazzy, very old school jazzy. So, C major seven, C sharp diminished, D minor nine, and then we've got a G7 to a D minor seven with a G in the bass, which again, for what we're playing, is just another G7 sus. And back to a C9. We're gonna go up here to the F, we're not gonna... All right. Kind of a bluesy uh, jazz tune, so it's a little bit more okay to use these shell voicings up and down. Uh, so we've got 21. Right? Um, so we got to look at, at 24. And we've got the B plus seven, which we're just gonna use a B seven. And then we've got an E seven flat five. So again, we're just gonna use the E seven shell voicing. So it's just the one third and seventh, All right? Best thing to do when you see a chord that looks like an algebra equation, but it's an E seven, blah, 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 blah. We've talked about this a hundred times. Um, and we'll hear it a hundred more. So starting at 24, we've got C nine down to B7, again, it's B plus seven on the, the paper, we don't care. B7 to E7, flat five, we're not playing the A5. And then it's A minor. Right, pretty straight ahead voices there. That's gonna be coming to you Next, and uh, that's mainly lucky, and we're going to do it one more time. 21 through the first chord of 25. So three, four. That's it. Uh, I'm going to print out the next paper. That might be all we're really going to have time to practice. Um, but since I've been very under the weather this last week, uh, I kind of want to just reiterate some of the actual lesson stuff, and I'll get these chords to you. See you tomorrow.